G'day, we're the traders. I'm Roy, I coach Destroy, and I'm here with Warney. Coach of the Warned Heart. Oh, and Calvin. Coach of Calvinator. We are reviewing all 18 teams in the lead up to the start of the season to help you pick the best fantasy side you possibly can. And today we're going to have a look at the power. And we're going to look at Robbie Gray. Mm. Oh, yeah. 37% of coaches have him locked in. Now, he was smashingly awesome yeah. last year. He improved his average 24 points up to 96. A breakout year. Absolute jet. As a start. machine. And over the nab, he's been brilliant. He scored 110 and 99 in these two games. Just, I think we need to just lock him right Without from the start. Doubt. I had worries because his body hasn't held up a lot mm. over his career. Last yeah. year it was fantastic. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Well, he's had another great preseason. Those games have just shown that he's ready to go, and I think we have to back him in right from the start. Well, the first time in my fantasy career as an experienced professional coach. <laughs> He's in my team for the first time. Oh, really? You didn't do it. I've never had him. Yeah, well, oh. you will enjoy. I had him Is last that why year. I've been he's... so bad? Yeah, I'll tell you what. He's amazing, too. To hold that dual position status, because he racks up 30 yeah. touches a game, but he goes forward and kicks goals. It is amazing how he does it. It's probably why he'll win the Brownlow this year. Oh, jump it on board again, mm, right? I am, yeah. <laughs> uh, number two there, we have Nathan Cracker. Ooh. Nathan Cracker, interesting. We all want him in our team because he holds that dual position status. He's an experienced AFL player. He's nice and cheap. He's formed through the NAB, um, 24-35, in a bit of limited time. Yeah. Um, but he had a big DNP, didn't play in that Which third. is concerning, I think. It is a slight concern, is it? Because they went in with a pretty strong team. I think he'll be elevated and play at some stage through the year, but I'm going to say we should not start. Watch list. Yeah. Definitely. Mm. Uh, yes. What are your boys is up next there, Warn Dog? Oh, I, I am. Former right. boy anyway. Oh, Ryder. Sad to see him go from the Bombers, but he's a gun. He is. Yeah. I'm just concerned. 12% of people have jumped on board, mm. so they, I think they That's mostly like his ruck forward. Yeah. Swingman thing, yeah. and I like it's that handy. too. However, how's he going to work with Lobie and like what's it going to look like, mm. do you think, as the ruck there? So that's my, I guess, concern about that. He scores uh, well as a ruck, but I think he's going to be spending a, a lot, lot of more time, time yeah. forward. So I'd probably sort of ignore him and even just drop him down a little bit in your, in your elite rankings too, okay. because I don't think, I think he might trick a few people with his average or his price because of that. So. Mm. Yeah, that's where I'm at with him. Interesting. Uh, coming and in that's not coming from a bitter Essendon supporter. Who lost him? Didn't sound like it. Tom Cleary is next. Now, at 120,000 as mm, a defender, sure. he's rumoured to be taking uh, Jackson Trengrove's spot. Right. So, But he won't set it on fire. Good in his handful last year. Like, mm. Solid player, and mm. if he does get his opportunity, he'll be... Solid. He's a heartbeat on your bench, that's yeah. what he is. Well, he'll certainly make him money if he's named. Yeah. 34, 45 and 22 are his two, his, like his three. He's at least playing. Yeah, so yeah at exactly. least playing, exactly. but, chief, but cheap as chips. Don't Ollie expect Wines, too much. No. Ollie Wines had 116 on the weekend against the Crows, and he's been talked about as taking that next step to be mega, mm. mega premium. Yeah, and I think that he can. So he's, I. he's just a beast of a, a player, of mm. a kid still, and... Mm. Oh, well, Quadzilla, as he's spoken about, he does tackle a bit too, which is nice, and all that sort of he's stuff. He's only priced at 90, uh, 91. Yeah. yeah. And it's obviously improved from the 74. Mm. So can he be um, 100? Yes. I think he definitely can yeah. this year. Mm. He could push 105, he's that good. I yeah, think. well. Mm. In the last five games last year, he only averaged 67. That's amazing, isn't it? So he slowed right down, which, well, which we well, I would see that average. as a good thing. Yeah. I well, see it's it, a good I thing for his it, price. I see it as a good thing. But he's going to come out on fire. And he has been. Round one. He's yep. been awesome. Uh, former All-Australian Roy, Chad Wingard. I love Chad. Yeah. He's one of my favourite players in the AFL. He hasn't played any of the... NAB game no. so far, so definitely just watch what's going on with Chad. However, once he's ready to go, if that is round one, he's priced um, 10 points under mm. his All-Australian year. So there is value there in the Chad. Um, don't Up hesitate to, to jump on if he's yep. ready to go. Yeah. Uh, Cole Amon was very, yeah. very good early and Bit of a currently talk. sitting on my bench. But is he? Well, he scored 60 and 77 at 120,000. Mm. But... Didn't play in the last NAB game, and along yeah. with Cracker, jeez, mm. is he best 22? That's the concern. That's a big concern, but if he's named round one, mm. if he, get when on. he plays, and if it's later in the season, yeah. because he's 120 grand, we know he's got some scoring ability, so he'll score fast, he'll make us some good quick money, possibly. Yeah. So have him on that watch list ready to go. Now, we always forget about some of the premium guys. There's oh, yeah. Guys there, oh, 
Cane corns, which we forget about. Cane corns, we forget mm. about. Old Ebert. Ebert. Is, all those Boke. guys. But I think Boke is the one that mm. people do forget about. And he stood up in a NAB Challenge game and he said, pick me. Because he had 139 <laughs> points That's, against the Crows in the last one. Yeah. And that was a huge He's just a genuine return. superstar. And he now, is. And he's one of our NAB AFL fantasy ambassadors. Yeah, and he it's interesting to see if he picks himself. Because if he does... That could nearly tempt me into doing that, I think. Oh, without a doubt. He is just a gun. I'm tempted to... He's been in and out of my team a couple of times because he's not highly picked. No. He's a unique pick. Very he's a unique. superstar. Yeah, yeah. Mm. No, interesting with the power, because they had such a good year last year, mm. probably not a huge amount of value in a lot of the guys yeah, there, but okay. there are a few, top names, yep. few names there that could be worth considering, especially during the season too. But I think Robbie Gray, a lock for everybody. Oh, without a doubt. Get on in. Do that at fantasy.afl.com.au and make sure you sign up and join their official league and take on other power fans like Roy. You love the power, don't I you? I do. Yep. You're a big fan. They're growing on me. <laughs>